Welcome back to the rain guide. This will be part two of the rain guide where I'll be teaching you how to climb from gold fort to platinum fort. Before I start the video, I got to tell y'all something. In, if you're trying to, if you're stuck in gold, right? Gold four, gold three, whatever gold you're stuck in, you're going to find two types of gold players. You're going to find the person that has really good aim, but terrible at looting, or you're going to find the person that has, that can loot really quickly and move, or is terrible at aim. Or you're just going to find the person that's really aggressive and is just bad at neither, so three. If one of those things speak to you, I'm going to tell you all characters y'all should play. If you have really good aim, but you're terrible at looting, try playing Loba. Honestly, she helps you loot really quickly, and here's a good tip. When looting a death box, before you go to the death box, know what you're looking for. Because when you know what you're looking for, you can find it more quickly instead of just looking through the box like, Oh, what do I need again? It's, you're wasting time. You're, you're wasting precious time that you could be using to rotate and thinking on what your next move is. So if you have a problem looting, try thinking about what you need before you go into the death box or just use Loba so you can just grab stuff wherever you go. If you are a person that has bad aim or you, and you're trying to get better aim and you need points to get out, get out of gold into the platinum, use my boy Bloodhound over here. You scan, your team knows where everyone is. Not all, That's just free information for your team. And not only that, you get, you get points off that just for scanning and helping your team know where everyone is. So that's a good pick, but if you, if you're just a person, you just want to bunker up and wait for the late game. Get try to get try try to get first place. Try to win the game. Play characters like Watson. I won't say caustic right now, because his gas is pretty much useless. People just like walk right through it. So I'll say play characters like Watson, Gibby, maybe Rampart, maybe, but for the most part, I'll say. Use Watson. Um, if you are an aggressive player, feel free to use Wraith, Pathfinder, Bang. But be careful with Bang because her smoke can really f your team up. So be wary of that. So if you really, if you make Smoker ten, right? Before you smoke the whole place, at least ask your team if they have digis and try to manage your smoke because the last thing you want is is for you to hear, I can't see. I can't see in the comments like nobody wants to be blind. Why blind your teammates? You're hurting your teams more than you're hurting than you're actually helping them. So be aware of that. But if you are playing with somebody else, free, feel free to use Octane Ref. And here's bro, I'm gonna give you the best tip ever right here. You must religiously third party. You must religiously third party. You know why? Because in gold, right? These people are so aggressive that they'll push the stupidest thing. And you know what Valkyrie does? You can push the you can push the dumbest thing, and you get a second chance at life because of the totem. Yeah. You pop that totem, you run at them, you get killed, you get sent back to the totem. Never happened. Pop a mad kit, do whatever you need to do, you walk away. Pop pop pow, done. Simple. That's what I would say. And see y'all in the video. And if you have not seen my previous video, in the previous video I talked about armor swapping and all that, stuff you will need to master or, or start learning to master as you climb up the ranks, feel free to watch that. I went over stuff like that, backpack management and all stuff like that. Go watch it if you haven't. And the video starts now. Look at that water bike, bro. your breath if you have to breathe. I'm gonna grapple on him because he's by himself, he landed late and already eluded my bins. So I have a better chance to win this gunfight and get an easy knock from a team. Reloading. 
First one. I want to push left because if I push left, I get a chance to have a fair one v one against this Matthew and not worry about someone else coming up behind me and shooting me and killing me. So therefore, I'm pushing left. My teammates is fighting, so I'm gonna push with him. He got him flush. I'm just gonna push up to get that knock. Top prize, bro. I'm not letting that happen. Bro. I want to really through Oasis and then Hammond Labs because there should be a fight nearby, which we can third party and then get our last couple bits of KP and then we can just relax for the whole game and we don't have to push any team until the final team we win the game. Oi. Here I go. How is that a 15 second round? That dude was questionable. Headshot him too. Uh, I'm down. Don't forget to keep track of the um, what's it called timer, because sometimes you can just forget about how much time you have left on the call before the zone comes in. Because you're you're looting, you're not paying attention too much to, to the time. But as you can see, my teammates that's what happened to my teammates. They looted too much and got caught in storm. When we look on the map, the circle is between um, solar array and bonsai. So therefore, we want the outer wall. A bonsai that overlooks solar array so therefore if someone try to rotate up the hill we have the opportunity to beam them as they try to come up so we can maintain that high ground only 30 seconds left on the clock the rings close Solid top. I'm bad. My enemy's getting worse and worse as I play. Come on, come on, come on. 
Smoke. I can't believe I'm standing still. You're lucky I like you. These two teams are fighting. We get a chance to reset because the, the, the attention is not on us right now. It's on them too. They're fighting. We're not even. They're not. We're the last. We're literally the last thought in their heads. Like they, they completely forgot about us. So therefore, we can reset and prepare for another fight. Something good this way. Whoa. Faster, faster, faster. Reloading. Only two enemy squads left. This ship my shield is recharged. Good work taking out the champion. Piss off. got worse. You are the Apex Champions. Almost shot the 3k on them. Nice. I landed in the middle of Overload Cannon because the enemy team landed on the far side of Overload Cannon and my teammate landed on the other side of them. So therefore me landing in the middle allows me to cut off their loose apart so they won't have as much loot as well. They only have that those small little room or they have to go to the back of Overload Cannon where the bins are. By that time we're done looting we can push them and they won't have nothing so we get three points on them. He didn't, they didn't see where I was at. Hold the high ground. I like a few times on my three and one. I hear you this thing. Okay. Boom. Okay. So you see how I have a, how I have a white backpack, right? Let's say I didn't have a backpack. I just started the game. Right? I had this. So, if I didn't have a backpack, I would drop this phoenix, take a syringe, and then just f fill up with cells. This is what I would want if I had like a shotgun and a fully automatic. If I didn't have that, I would drop a stack of ammo for another ammo of whatever gun you were using, that, like a flatline or something else. To fill that up, and as you get more space, you can increase more stuff, so instead of um, a stack of two stacks of cells, you can have three stacks of cells and an extra stack of bat if you want with the phoenix kit. You could add more to it and then you could have like another slot if you got purple and add more ammo 
and more stuff you want. Just keep pinging where you're going so your teammate knows that you're moving. Rappling. There's a person. Contact with friends. Reloading. Frag out. Trust in the old father. We didn't get the knock, so we're just gonna keep on moving Let's that way. Go this way. Bless me with sight. I don't want to fight them. Let's explore this way. Recharging my shields. Because this is the edge of circle, which means a lot of people are gonna be rotating through here. I'm just, Might be something I'm just gonna rotate. Up, See, my teammates didn't want to listen to my call, and now they're getting bullied. Let's go this way. That way. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. Sure you can cut my zipline. I forgot to add this in uh, when I was recording this gameplay, but I nearly died because I chased a rat. Don't do me. Don't be. Don't be me in that situation. Don't chase a person just because they're solo. Be because right in that situation she had the high ground i had no business pushing that fight and i nearly died because of it and other teams are I shooting messed that up. don't do me i just put myself in a terrible spot recharging shield I wanted to push this fight because no, the right rest on the edge of circle. Therefore, there should be no one third party. Me. Everyone already got their spot for late game. No one's willing to leave their spot. I had a chance to just get a couple KP and lose the game because of that. So therefore, in my head, I said this is a free opportunity, a free push. I can fight this. so badly Better angle. Wow, looks like that was the last one in the squad. Help John if you need it. We're gonna quickly move, we're being packed. Giving my shields a um, to break down that fight, right? I went down to the horizon, right? My teammates res me, right? As the lifeline is resing me and dropped the drone on me, the lifeline is giving the, this bloodhound cover fire while he's down there. So this um, mirage decides to push up on him, right? The rampart. He will be able to quickly run away because our team is doing damage. So she can't. So that dude can't push on our team and get the knock fully. So therefore, our bloodhound just lives, and I just we just reset the fight. Uh, and I'm getting freaking shanked. Oh.
Don't do that dog tomorrow, dude. I have a two out game. Come on. They're getting impatient, you see? They're not patient. They have zone. I'm just gonna move. So I'm gonna move into the back house. We're gonna take a wide rotate. Let's go this way. We're gonna take a nice wide rotate. And try to get to the house so we get in the back of the zone. And then we know every team's in front of us. You mean an one with an Arc Star? Okay, on top of that. I'm just gonna go behind them. Keep playing that Arc Star. I'm with my teammates so I can peek more aggressively. I'm gonna be next. And my teammates should take care of that. Only two enemy squads left. Now we just zip line. No, the lifeline's right there, because scan. Looks like that was the last one in the squad. They're in that room, so I can just throw an oxide. Stunts her, she can't aim. Okay. Team, we got the flank on him. The stun.